Hi there, it's Alexandra from the Middle Sized Garden YouTube channel and blog and I'm here at Lime Cross Nurseries in East Sussex, South East England to talk about a plant that has become very unpopular in the last few decades but which is making a big comeback because it adds so much structure to your garden all year round but particularly in winter and that's conifers. When you think of conifers, you may think of Leylandii hedges or great big sad trees planted about 50 years ago, towering above you with lots of broken branches and sad brown bits. Well, those are probably Lawson cypresses or cypresses Leylandii, and both of those have got a very bad reputation. However, I'm here to talk to Vicky Tate at Lime Cross Nurseries because there are so many other conifers that don't grow very tall, are super easy to look after and have the most amazing foliage and structural shape. I was actually at Great Dixter for a Garden Media Guild trip and there was a great group of us, um, all gardening journalists of various kinds, and Fergus Garrett said, you know, I'm going to use a lot more conifers in the future, and that was three years ago, and I can tell you a sort of ripple of horror ran silently through the room. But since then, I've really been looking at how conifers perform in gardens, and I myself have fallen very much in love with quite a few of the pines. Vicky thinks that conifers got unpopular just because people didn't know how to look after the Leylandii cypresses and they just got huge and obviously if you've got a sort of small or middle sized back garden and you've got a hundred foot cypress hanging over you it's just not nice. And she says also people will say things like oh I don't like conifers but I do love pines and in fact of course pines are conifers. Broadly speaking, conifers are firs, pines, spruces, junipers, cypresses, cryptomerias, and quite a few others. But that gives you a chance. It's a very large category. So where would you put conifers in your garden? Well, Vicky thinks that because they're evergreen and because they have very strong architectural structure, they make a brilliant focal point. They're also fantastic in pots, if you choose the dwarf varieties. And they can be used in many different contexts. For example, both at Wisley, the RHS garden, and at Fergus Garrett's wonderful Great Dixter garden, conifers are actually used in the exotic garden because actually they go with exotic plants like palms very, very well. And of course, they are there all year round. So what do we need to know when we're choosing a conifer? Vicky thinks that the first thing to look at is how fast does it grow? Many of them only grow a few centimetres a year and have a final height that is really no higher than any other tree. The dwarf conifers will stay dwarf. Then obviously look at the leaf shape, the colour, whether you want it as a focal point or whether you want it almost, I mean some of the pines can almost be used as ground cover. So can conifers be transplanted? If a friend has a lovely conifer and she says, oh, I really hate it, could, could you dig it up and put it in your garden? Well, not very well, unless it's very young. Generally, all trees and shrubs and conifers are no exception, says Vicky, really don't want to be dug up once they've really put their roots down. You'd be better off buying a new, younger plant. A very young plant or a plant that's kept in a pot obviously can be moved much more easily. Conifers are very, very easy care. They're quite happy in most soils. They prefer an acid soil or a neutral soil and they're not as happy on chalk, but they will do on most soils. And once you've planted them in the ground, there's not a lot you need to do. Mulching is always good for your soil and so obviously do that, but they're not that fussy really. If you have conifers in pots, obviously they will need feeding and watering. And Vicky says use a slow release fertilizer, a granule, rather than a liquid fertilizer because it's very easy to overfeed with a liquid fertilizer. So what about those conifers that suddenly go brown? What's the problem? Well, Vicky says the first thing is that it's probably not in a light enough situation. A lot of people ask if conifers grow in shade, and some of them do, a few, so check the label, but on the whole they're mountain plants and they would rather be in a sunny spot. So what are some of the best conifers for small gardens? I walked around Lime Cross with Vicky and here are some of the plants they sell that would look fabulous both in pots or in small gardens. And it gives you such a range of colours and leaf shapes, I, I really think these are fabulous plants.
thing that worries people is pruning conifers because some of them don't regenerate. So if you cut something off in the wrong place, it's not going to regrow again, but some do. Vicky says that the pines, the cedars and the cryptomerias are very easy to prune and are quite forgiving. However, the spruces and the firs can get out of shape. You have to be quite careful when cutting them. Things like the cypresses don't regrow from old wood. So if you're, you've got a great big overgrown cypress hedge, then, and you cut it back, it will not regrow again. However, a very similar looking hedge is a thuja, and it will regrow again. So it's really worth looking at the plant labels when you buy a conifer. And do find out the botanic names. For example, the spruces are Picea, P-I-C-E-A, and the firs are Abies, A-B-I-E-S, and all the others have their botanical names. And don't be off put by that. It's just important that you actually get what you want. And so if you see a name on a plant label, then just copy and paste it, put it into Google and make sure it is the plant you want. So do conifers damage house foundations? When buying a conifer, look at its final height and you should plant that three quarters of that final height away from a building. But most trees, and conifers are included, are unlikely to damage drains or foundations unless those are already damaged or cracked. So it is quite important, of course, when you're planting your tree, is not to damage any drains, because if there are cracks that have been made by your spade, then roots may grow into it. So can you grow conifers in shade? Well, most conifers don't like shade. They don't like shade and they don't like being inside houses because there isn't enough light. They are mountain plants. However, yews will tolerate shade better than other conifers. So if you want to grow a conifer in a very shady part of your garden, try a yew. But of course, when you've got a much taller tree, like a Leylandii cypress, which I have, it's much taller, it gets quite a lot of sunlight. It's on a north facing wall, but it gets a lot of sunlight as it's over the wall. So it, that's fine. But if you're noticing that you've planted a conifer quite close to a fence or a wall, and it's going brown on one side, where it's the wall, it means it's not getting enough light to that particular part of the plant. Lime Cross Nurseries also has a fabulous cafe and it also has a wild swimming lake where people do yoga. So it's very much a destination as well as somewhere to discover how amazing conifers can be for your garden. And if you've enjoyed this, please do hit like because then I'll know you'd really like to know more about plants that work incredibly hard in your garden all year round. At the end of this video, I've put together a winter gardens playlist. So if you're interested in making your garden look better during the winter as well as the summer, then there should be some really useful videos in there for you. And if you'd like more tips, ideas and inspiration for your middle sized garden, do subscribe to the Middle Sized Garden YouTube channel. And thank you for watching. Goodbye.